So hi, welcome, welcome back to the channel with Lime with Evil. Now today I want to show you something totally different about how to bend stirrup. Now you know where that stirrup? This is that stirrup. So I want to teach you how to make this. So come down now. Is that kind of different thing today on the channel, right? So this is my setup here. When you at home, you could do the same thing. First thing first, you can use any piece of wood to the back. So you pound down this in there concrete slab or a piece of wood wherever you pound, right? Now this here, I'm making six and a half inch store, right? So watch here, with the tape, you need a tape. You're gonna need a piece of iron to bend the steel. And you may need a hammer to pound down the pieces of wood, right? After. Right, so watch here. From here to this nail here is six inches. Right now you have to be careful with the tape as you can see this does move, right? So you have to make sure you get it. Right? So from here to here is six inches. Right? Now remember here when you bend this piece here that you're going to bend here, this will take at least a half an inch. So you're averaging six inch. You can see how I cut it sideways. So you can use any piece of wood, just follow this, right? Just go back onto the video and watch it. So from here to here, this nail here is six inches. Right, let me show you. Right, so it's six and about, about a, a little more than a quarter. Right, but when you bend here, you need to get half inch right here. So this quarter and that go make six and a half inch, right? Now you're wondering why I put this here for now. Now remember, when you're bending steel, you need it to come like this this is your lock in here where this come together and lock in your steel so you need to have at least three inches off see it three inches so remember this is six inches here from here to here is six inches and then we have three inches here so we're looking at nine inches now this is nine inches but remember this is the steel you want this is half inch smooth steel right this is what they are used to make stuff or you could use the three eighths or half inches according to what you're making right now this is the quarter inch you could use this this i'll share will tie because i'm going to untie some steel just now and i'll share that as well in the video so this is half inch so let me show you how we're going to work this one. first thing first you're putting your steel like this so watch how i have it here you see it on the outside Right, now you're taking this, this piece of steel here where you need to bend, watch it. So you get a piece of, this is what, half inch or quarter inch, and you pong it like how I have it here, right? I want to show you the process. You're putting this inside, come on this side here. Right, show them. Right, so come here, or you come in and show them. Right, watch it for the piece of end of the steel is here. This here, from here to here is about three inches, right? And I want to show you how to bend our steel. So you're holding this here, you bend it. Right? This is your first bend. You take it out and then you put it back from here. Sorry, you put it from here. Right? Because this is your, your six inch, right? So you bend again, you take out, you put it in again, you bend, you take it out, you come in here now, you pull it here, and you bend. Right? So this is one piece here. You're putting back this inside here. You're putting this here. And you bend. And you get a stop. Right? Let me measure it and see if it's six and a half inch. So from here to here, seven inches. Right? Remember, I tell you, this is half inch here, it is bending. Huh? So it work out to seven inches. Right? Watch again. Seven inches. Because remember, this was six and a half here. Right? Watch it here. 
right? Six, well, six and a quarter. And then at, at least about half inch. So we work, it work up to about seven inch. Now you're wondering why leave so much as steel here. Now, when you time, store up, right? And if you don't have steel, this, this piece that's coming inside like this. So it lock. See? It lock in here. So when this go onto the steel, you go see it just now in a little while when I go to tie steel, it is lock on. So this, it can open. So you have to leave that space. Now people not going to teach you this the way I teach you, eh? They just going to show you how to make a store. But this is the proper way to make a store. Because this lock, you can't pull this out. You see? And I real strength I put in there. Now if you open it out like this, watch it. Then, so you learn to make a straw again. I'll show you one more again. Right, so come back again and take. So here, this is be nine inch here. Here is be six inch, well six and a half inch, right? Now this, the, 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 the beam I use it, what I go in the tie will be well six and a half to seven, right? So watch again, you pull it. You have your piece of steel, one, right, you bend, then you come back to this small nail here. Now I'm using this nail as my line up, right? You bend, come back again, you pull it, you put it inside, you bend again, you come back here, right, you make sure you go down inside and line up with this here, that is why I put this here, right, you bend. You take it out now, you put it back inside here, you make sure you line up back with this nail because this is your mark. You take a piece of steel, you squeeze in, take it out, and you own like corner, you see? So when this go inside here now, and this come over here now, it lock. And that is where you make a stop. Right? Watch it. Same. Right, I mean you won't get exactly to be exact as full square, but that is the same thing. It's the same same seven inch. Right? Watch. And that is for up already. So if you're making eight inch, you just use now this is 34 inches. I cut this at 34 inches, right? Because I want it at least three inches out. Right? So one could be a little longer because I the excess. So watch, at least three inches out on both sides. Right? And I didn't want to waste, waste my steel. Cause this is 19 and three quarter. This length I see I think is 19 and three quarter. So I just use all the excess. I didn't want to waste it because I couldn't get anything out of a little piece. So you can see, three inches. And this is about, about three, four inches. So you won't waste it. This, this little piece is here. Now if, if you cut it shorter, it, it will not hold eh? So do not study people what they are doing. This is the correct way. So when it's locking, you have to get this to lock in inside. Right? When this lock in inside, you tie this here. Remember, this come in here and this come in here. So it lock. See? It lock. When you tie this, you, your wire now, I will show you the outside how to tie it. Right? I'm going to do that now. And that's how you just make a stirrup. So you see? And you get a 7 inch stirrup. Right? Now, longer, the average, an 8 inch. If you're making an 8 inch, it could be 8 and it is 16, 16 and 16 is 32. 32 inches go be this, then you have to measure your half. So this will be half and half, that is one, that is 33. Half and half, that is 34. Then you have three inches here. So it could be 34 and three is 37, and then you have four here. So you have to cut this length of steel here now, to get an eight inch, you have to cut at least 41 to 42 inches. So I hope you learned something there, right? So we go cut, I hope you learned something there. We will continue to make all this stuff. And just keep watching it and if you remember I just teach you everything on this channel I don't hide nothing I want you to learn right it's not about spending money you need to learn you need to try new things keep trying at it watch back the video over and over and you'll understand if you could do it yourself right just remember who will put teach you rely on me with you and you know me I wherever I know and wherever I could teach you I will to teach you so I'm gonna make all the rest of stuff and then you go join me outside to tell the link cast you. We like over David. Remember the name, eh? David. Who teach you? So I will see you later in a little bit. I saw Sarah.
in the earlier part of this video you should see how I was making the stirrup so today I'm going to teach you how to tie steel so come in right so we have the stirrup here this is the way it is called a stirrup right this is the it is six and a half inches by six and a half inches right as you can see there so we're going to take this and we're going to tie it on this steel here now we're going to make a, a bar for here for down here we want to run a drain should only run on the up and down the whole thing right so if we want to build a drain here so we're making this is the foundation for here but we're not going and dig any trench on the ground we go in and drill this into this wall because these wall already pile long about 10 or 15 feet down here but well, we have plenty of land slip here so we're trying to strengthen up and let the water run in a proper way so we're using this here and we're going to untie this here and then we go rest block on top of this here so this is going to, make, this is going to become like a main beam right so to tie a stirrup i want to show you how we just tie a stirrup right so if you didn't know you're going to learn something here today so here come in here we have something called binding wire you can go in the hardware and ask them for binding wire right i bend my binding wire twice so it will be strong so even though if you put some people let's use one piece but when you put one piece just in case if the land to move or your place to the move it have a double so if one do come out you still have a next one holding it steady right so i want to show you how to tie a stirrup right first you line up now here I measuring 10 inches so you're using a tape now we say I need four inches from here to here so we leave a little space right so if you watch the tape there you just see it saying eight inches so four inches going in and four inches go re remaining outside the continue casting right four inches on this end on your on your right hand side and four inches go be going up on your left hand side right but this other joint because the length longer this is only 19 feet and we need to get 26 feet right but i will show you that later on in our next video while we're doing it 
So we have eight inches here, four inches going to drilling into the wall, and then they're going to cast. Right, and every stirrup from there on, so it's to be 10 inches. I put in it as 10 inches. As you can see there, right? So it will be 10 inches apart. So you're going to tie each one 10 inches apart. So I'm teaching you how to make a post. Right, so this is the way I just tie a stirrup. So we go in and tie the stirrup on them. Right? So come in, let me show them how we just tie the stirrup. First thing first, you bend your wire like this. You pull it here on one side. Right? You pull it on the next side like this. You bring it in here and then you lock. Now I don't know the name of this tie. This is just the tie I learned. Right? See, you use your pliers now and you do. And you just pull it. Now you always have to keep it steady when you're going to pull the tiny next part. Right, so watch again. You put your you put your you put your piece of wire here underneath behind the steel. Right, you come wrong here. You come wrong here. You come in inside and you turn. And that is how you just get a perfect lock to your steel. So as you can see it how it is here right now, right? I will do our next one and demonstrate for you better. So you always measure from the next one to the next one. So from here to here we need to get 10 inches, right? So we are 10 inches there. Make sure when you're tying your steel home, or if you want to try something and you don't know, this is the way you have to do it, right? You make sure you put it in. Watch my hand. You come in here, watch her. Huh? One on top of it, one going underneath. One going underneath. You hold it here. And you pull. Now you see it here, right? Now when you don't make that tidy, you know, you use your pliers. Where if you have a bird beak pliers, you can do the same thing. And you turn this, you make sure you hold it steady and pull. So you want this to go lock in here. So you're pulling with strength on this side and you're using the pliers to pull in this one. And you keep turning till it gets stiff. Right, so stiff that get you know. You're bending back your ends on them and then lock. So even though, let me say, you build something and it's like give pressure. If this piece wire, if you tie with one piece of wire and one burst, you still have a next one hole. But normally it do happen because when you put concrete inside here, it is locking everything. But that is why I just use two pieces. Now people go say you're wasting binding wire, but you better it's strong and steady than it weak and it break in half. So I hope this you hope you understand this and I hope this will demonstrate here. You will understand how to tie a beam or a post. This could be a beam or it could be a post. Right? Yeah, your stirrup, yeah, your binding wire, yeah, your pliers, your tape. This is quarter inch steel and this is half inch steel, corrugated steel. And well, quarter inches only come smooth. Now, some people use treats, but there's not really nothing strong, even though you're using this, you just put it closer. So, if you want to use quarter inch, you could use a quarter inch, but if you're building house, some people, but you put it closer, right? So, instead of putting it like 10 inches apart, you can put it like six inches apart. So, it could be more concrete and more strong. So, I hope you understand this demonstration here now. I'm going to untie all the rest, and I hope you understand something. I hope you learn something. So, you go see the rest of we tie it along. Yeah, man, this is Royal Dainties in the Pongolongs factory. Big Rich, run it! It's when me come in at the dance. Feel a little hungry, me was on my tail. When me look around, me see the sweet sexy girl. I couldn't avoid her charm and charisma that alone raised me pause when me step to the girl. Make sure me mouth clean and me acting normal. Me never let her know I am dainty royal. Me come from behind and say bless Empress, you really looking special. Sunu sunai, ek kahani. जब आती है रुत पे जवानी तब बनती है प्रेम कहानी प्रेम कहानी में एक लड़का होता है एक लड़की होती है कभी दोनों हंसते हैं कभी दोनों रोते हैं Hey, hey.
होते हैं कभी दोनों हंसते हैं कभी दोनों रोते हैं ब्यूटीफुल और स्वीट एंगल ऑफ माइंड लफी है यू सॉफ्ट एंड द बॉयस ऑल दी वाइल्ड लाइक अ ब्लॉसम इन फ्लावर्स सिंस आई वाज अ लिटिल चाइल्ड फायर टीम ट्री इन ऑल हंबल एंड माइल्ड ऑलवेज यू डोंट वांट टू रीड मी लाइफ एट दी वाइल्ड कितनी सी छोटी सी होती है एक चिंगारी कितनी सी छोटी सी होती है एक चिंगारी जल जाती है पक जाती है जिसमें दुनिया सारी चांदनी रातों में So we now flip the um, piece of steel here. We already done it. You see, tie now this one here. We now flip it and we put the next two pieces on top and we're going to tie all this. As you can see, see how the beam, how it shape up. Right? So everything on like on. So we're going to start the tie it out now. I couldn't avoid her charm and charisma that alone raised me pause when me step to the girl Make sure me mouth clean and me act in normal Me never let her know I am dainty royal Me come from behind and say bless Empress you really looking special Yeah man this is royal dainties in the Pongolongs factory Big Rich run it It's when me come in at the dance Feel a little hungry, me was a mital When me look around, me see the sweet sexy girl I couldn't avoid her charm and charisma That alone raised me pause when me step to the girl Make sure me mouth clean and me act in normal Me never let her know I am dainty royal Me come from behind and say bless Empress, you really looking special So you see here, here From that end to this end here, this is five feet From here to here, we need to join at least three feet to four feet we need to tie in before you add in the rest to make it 24 feet so we will see that part in part two of this video so i hope you learned something how to tie a stirrup and how i mean i hope you learned how to tie a beam or a post and the stirrup and the binding wire so thanks for watching and i'll see you in part two of this video I'll go.
Lots of love, nothing can come between us I'll give you the world in Saturn and Venus Because this is what both of us did dream of It's like till we always forever they see love From you it's so nice to be loved